Hello, in this um, video I'm gonna solve 444 but for a different requirement which is AC. So what are we gonna find? We're gonna find heaven and equivalent from terminus AC. So this is your A and this is your C. How would you start? We start with R heaven A. What do you do in R heaven A? you turn off all of the independent sources so we have a voltage source here and we have a current source so and uh, what happens to a voltage source when it's turned off it's like a short we represent it with a short and how do we represent um, the switching off of an um, uh, independent current source an open circuit so this is your point going to be an open circuit and this will be a short. You can watch one of the previous videos on Tevenin. We discussed this in detail. So now how would the circuit look look like? It will look like this. This is 1 ohm and this is 4 ohm and then after 4 there is 5 ohm. So we've done this, we've done this, this. What do we have? We have 3 ohm and then this is a short and then 2 ohm and that's it. This is your A and this is your C. So B is here but there's nothing connected to it and we're not looking at B so it's just like a wire here. Okay? So we ignore B here. We're looking here, we're looking at A and C. So what is R Thevenin? We can see that these two are in series. Again, when we're doing R, R equivalent or R Thevenin from the terminus, we look, when we start combining resistors, we look from the furthest end, which is here. So these two are in series, so R seven n equals 3 plus 2, and then these two are also in series, right? And, but, or let me draw it for you so you don't get lost. So this is 1 ohm, you have 4, and you have 5. This is A, this is C, this is 4 ohm, this is 5 ohm, and then what did we have here? 3 plus 2, 5 ohm. Notice these two are in series as well. So it's going to be 1 ohm here, and then 4 plus 5. This is A, this is C. This is 9 ohms. And then what do we have? We have here 5 ohm. And then uh, 5 and 9 are, are in parallel because they share two nodes. Then it's going to be 1. And then 5 parallel 9 is C. And 5 parallel 9 is 3.21 ohm, this is ohm, and now it's clear that 1 is in series with 3.1. So if we write it out here, it's 3 plus 2, right, combined here, and in, in parallel with 4 plus 5, and at the end they are in series with 1. 5 parallel 9 in series with 1. 5 parallel 9 in series with 1 equals 3.21 in series with 1. So R7 in is 4.21 ohm. Now to find V7 in, 
V7 and what do you do? You replug all of the sources back. Then here we can do what? We can do source transformation. How would this circuit look like? It will look like this. This is your 1 ohm. This is your 4 ohm. This is A. This is 4 ohm. And then source transformation. 5 and plus minus y plus minus because if the arrow is like this this is the plus this is the minus okay and this is c what's the value of the uh, voltage source here it's what v equals i r i is 2 and r is 5 so it's going to be 10 volts this is 5 ohm and then we have 3 ohm plus minus 24 volts and 2 ohm there we go. 2 ohm now we can do a mesh analysis for this loop. This is I. So what would be the equation here? So if I start from here, going like this, then 2I minus 24, right? Because the first sign in C is negative here. This is plus, minus, this is our assumption, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Okay, so minus 24 plus 3i plus 4i here plus 5i plus 10 is equal to 0. We did KVL here. Is there any current flowing here? No. Why? Because it's an open circuit here. So combine, you have what? You have 3 and 2, 5, 5, 10, 5, 10, and 4. So 14i is equal to, flip it to the other side, 24 minus 10. So i is 1. 1 ampere. I found the current here. What would it do for me? It will help me find the voltage drop across those resistors. And then if I find the voltage drop across these, I can add all of that to give me what is the voltage across A and C, B, A, C. So the voltage here would be 4 times 1, 4 volts, and here. 5 volts and here it's 10 volts so now v7n is equal to vac here what is the voltage here it's the addition of this one so va minus vc is the addition of all of these voltages so it's going to be 4 plus 5 plus 10 which is 19 volts so this is your v7 i hope this helps so what did we do we found r7 in first and then uh, for v7 in we did source transformation and then we got v voltage across vac so why didn't we count this voltage here? Because there's no current, right? So there's no voltage drop across V1 ohm resistor. So what is what do you see when you look from A and C? You just see these voltages. So now the final circuit will be, what did we find it to be? I think 4.21 ohms. This is A. 
and then net C, net B, net C, and the voltage is 19 volts. So this is your Thevenin equivalent circuit.